Hey guys, Stationary Engineer here. We have our Frigidaire model FFLG3911 QW0. Uh, it is not heating up during the drying cycle. Now, typically during your drying cycle, you start it up. After about 10 or 15 seconds, you should hear the solenoid click. That is clearly not happening here. So since our solenoid is not clicking like it's supposed to, that leads me to believe that our thermal high limit is open, meaning that the safety circuit for the gas valve is not complete, meaning that gas valve will not open, it will not send gas to the unit. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up this bottom panel so we can start breaking down this machine so we can get to the high limit switch. Now, typically this entire process will probably take you on average 20 to 25 minutes or so. And what you're seeing me doing here is I'm just taking off the front panels, two screws, front panel comes right off. Next is two more screws and then that control panel comes off. There is one wiring harness that you want to disconnect so that you can let it hang loose. There's two screws on the bottom of the front door panel and there are four screws on the top. Once you've gotten those four screws removed, you can pull the front panel out, which will give you access to the drum. Uh, there are three mounting screws that hold that drum in place. And also what you're not gonna really see me do here is disconnect the belt, which is just kind of an awkward move, maneuver where you have to reach your arms in under the dryer drum and take it off the pulley wheels. Uh, here you can see me pulling the drum out. Uh, you gotta be careful to not bend out the sides of the machine. And finally, we have actually made it to our thermal limit switch. So pull the wires off, two screws, pull it out. Here you're gonna see me go ahead and test the high limit switch. Uh, out with the old, in with the new. We have tone, everything looks good. Now we go ahead and reinstall that, put the wires back on to the high limit switch there. And one of the most important things is to put that top dead center so you have a reference point for, for that screw because you're kind of doing this blind. So you put the drum in, rotate it around so that one of your screw holes is at top dead center hopefully matching where the other one is. Uh, and then you go ahead and get your three screws in there, tighten that drum on, and then reattach the belt. Uh, I didn't show putting the front panel back on, but obviously I did. Here we are powering the unit back up. Hit the start button. Let's watch it go through its startup motions here. have ignition. Go ahead and put all the screws back in for the control panel, for the heat shield, reattach your front cover, and that is going to complete replacing a heat sensor in a Frigidaire model FFLG3911 QW0 stackable washer and dryer. As always, thanks for tuning in and watching The Stationary Engineer. If you like this content and you enjoy what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video, and if you could comment, even better. Thanks for watching.